it is terms of an expression now to make you understand this let me take one simple example what is a term term is separate entities when combined together they form an expression so here if you can see that this 4x square which are which can be separately made by 4 multiplying with x multiplying with it, x again and this minus 3xy which can be separately formed by doing a product of xy and then again multiplying with minus 3 so these separate entities are known as term so what is the terms terms of an expression are separate entities when combined they form an expression so here in the example 4x square minus 3xy 4x square is one term and minus 3xy is another term when they combine with an addition rule they form an expression now please note that terms are always added to form an expression so here minus 3xy will be a part of term so when 4x square is added to minus 3xy we get an expression as 4x square minus 3xy so please note that there is always an addition rule or addition operation when we combine terms with each other to form an expression now there is one more thing then what is factors factors is the term how the term is formed or factor is the variable and constants to form a term let's say in the example 4x squared term the factors are 4 x and x they combine together to form the term 4x square so here 4x and x become the factors for 4x square to make it more clear let us take one example so you can first tell me what are the terms so the terms here are 5xy and 10 why have taken minus 10 with the rule that terms are always having an addition operation now I'll put a dotted line here for factors to make it a little clear to form this term with the help of constants and variables I need this x y which are two variables and this phi a constant to form this variable phi x y so here phi x and y becomes the factors of this term so this I hope is clear to you let me explain take one more example and explain to you this is uh, the right time to pause if you want to try on your own so here the terms are four y square and the factor is four y and y so four is the numeric or constant and y is a variable I hope this is clear to you now 
There is one more terminology to be understood here. This numeric constant present in the term is known as numerical coefficient. So whenever there is a numeric constant present, let us take the previous example. Here in the previous example, 5 is the numeric constant present in the term 5xy. So this numeric constant becomes a numerical coefficient for the term 5xy. Same way in this 4x square minus 3xy, the terms are 4x square and minus 3xy. Here the 4 and minus 3 becomes a numerical coefficient. In a generic term, coefficient can be a numerical factor or an algebraic factor or product of two or more factors. So this we talked about a numerical coefficient but in a generic term, what is coefficient? Coefficient can be a numerical coefficient, it can be a algebraic factor. Or it can be a product of two or more factors. To give an example for this, let us take in term 10xy square. Here if I want to find a numeric coefficient, it would be 10. But what is a coefficient? I can say 10 is a coefficient for xy square. Same way I can say x is a coefficient for 10y square. I can say y square is a coefficient for 10x. So I hope I have given you a clear example how coefficients are defined. Let me take one more example to help you understand the coefficient. You can take a pause if you want to solve this on your own. Here 5 is a coefficient for x square y. You can say 5 is also a numerical coefficient x square is a coefficient for 5y and y is a coefficient for 5x square. I hope this session which describes how the expressions are formed, what is the term, factor and coefficient is clear to you. In the next session we will be talking more about what is like and unlike terms and then how these expressions or the binomial uh, trinomial expressions are formed. For now, thank you.